Faith Mahar Farat says, honest truth is women need only to grow up to a level of physical maturity to be accepted by society as grown up. A man, however, is ridicu ridiculed way after the checkpoint. His growing up depends on a whole other set of things to be accepted by society. Hmm. That's a good point. I'll I'll uh I'll add to that. I think I it was fifty. I, I think I think uh, women don't mature until they stop getting sexual attention. More of a controversial take. What did you just say? Say that again, bro. I meant I said women don't mature until they stop getting sexual attention from the opposite gender. Why do you believe that? women don't mature? I'll back up why I said that. Okay. The reason why I said that is because when girls are getting pursued by men mm -hmm. and getting options and guys hitting up on Instagram, dating apps, whatever. The world is their oyster. It's awesome. I got a bunch of guys pursuing me. I get the fan. I get the privilege of being kind of in a delusional fantasy world where I think I deserve a man that's a millionaire, six foot plus, etc. Because I've dated a few. Maybe I hooked up with one here. Maybe I kissed one here. I think I'm. I deserve this caliber of man, right? And typically, it's not until they get older and their options dry up from the opposite gender that reality smacks them and they say, "Whoa, I should probably find a family now. I should probably go ahead and find a guy." And I maybe this career thing wasn't wasn't it, and I need to chase a family because it's going to give me the real fulfillment that I want. That's what I've noticed. The most mature women I've met are typically women that are kind of at the end of the road when it comes to their looks and beauty and their youth. You don't feel like that goes for men too? Yes, it does. Uh, well, here's the difference with men: men face immediate negative reinforcement for bad decisions. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. If I'm a fat loser playing video games in the basement. At some point, I'm either going to lose my girlfriend, like her ex, or no girls are going to fuck me, my friends aren't going to respect me, and society will look down upon me and let me know that I'm a Cheeto-eating fat piece of shit. Rightfully so. Women, however, if she's hot enough, no one will ever tell her you're a pot-smoking loser and have nothing going on in your life because she's hot and someone will, at some point, take care of her. I tend to Ta -da. Disagree. You disagree? Yeah. What do you disagree with? I disagree with the last statement that you said about women more so if they're attractive, they're most so like no one's going to come at them and tell them like the truth because of the fact that they're attractive, like their appearance is like Excuses up there. them from their yeah. actions. I feel like there are certain people out here that tends to tell women like what's going on with them. And who's that? Real I'm ones. speaking for certain people. I'm not speaking for everybody. I don't know if you're speaking for like everybody out here in the world, but I'm speaking for certain women, certain men out here. Okay. So what if I told you I've spoken to almost 2000 women from different age groups and different backgrounds <laughs> on this podcast? <laughs> that's, that's interesting. And the amount of women that are delusional as to how the world really works and making arguments in bad faith or not understanding how things really go, etc., mm -hmm. is alarming. And what I've realized is there tends to be a correlation where the more attractive a girl is, the more delusional she tends to be of how the world really works because her beauty has coddled her from facing harsh realities that the world often has. I can agree. Men don't that. get that privilege. Pretty privilege is real and women get to experience it. So women aren't held accountable for their poor decisions to the same degree that. that men are. So now you agree. I agree with the pretty privilege. There are, But we also get tested because we pretty. You feel what I'm saying? They try to test that. Are you mm. just looks? Nope. Barely. Yeah, barely. Not barely. Yeah, barely. Well, maybe, let's be okay, maybe hold in on. Miami. I don't know if y'all notice this. I can't hear you. Feel hold me? on, hold on. This podcast is a perfect example of that. This has been a very uncomfortable conversation. I can see yeah. it in all of you, right? Mm -hmm. But why is it uncomfortable conversation? Because you a savage. No, because no one tells it's women the dragging. truth anymore. I mean, it's not uncomfortable to me. Oh no, I've noticed that a lot of you guys are uncomfortable, which is cool. I don't mind. But the reason with, why uncomfortable with what exactly? Getting your views challenged. Uh, you know, the, a lot of moments of silence, etc. And the reason why is because men rarely, if ever, tell women the truth. And I'm telling y'all the truth. And you guys don't like it. Oh, I don't like this. I don't agree with it. Blah, blah, blah. But it's the truth. Men rarely tell women what how it really is because they want to fuck them. That's how I you're agree saying with your it, point. That's the only reason why I'm quiet. I'm not going to like go against your point if I know like I don't have actual facts on it or I disagree with it. That's the only reason why I'm being quiet. Well, what I'm saying, my argument in this case is that <laughs> women don't mature because they don't have to typically. Mm -hmm. They're still going to get all the benefits regardless of how they behave if they're hot enough. Damn. Bars. You could be on a boat tomorrow with a celebrity. I can't. Drake. You can get invited to a party with some uh, high level guys. I can't. You're so right about that. So I have a question. You go on OnlyFans, sell fee pictures, make $10,000 a month. I can't. You can't get them drones. I'm saying. Nah, I mean, bro. I brought up the. No, it's no, not going to happen. I, I can't even lie. I will bring my own personal, like, personal experience. Like, even my man, before I came onto the podcast, he was like, it's so crazy because 
you literally somebody slid in your DMs and was like, hey, you want to be on this podcast? And me as a man, like I would have to have a million followers. I would have to have so much clout. I would there have, have all X, Y, and Z yep. to even like be considered for I'm a position barely. in this seat. And all I, I agree had with to her do with that. was, oh, I'm sorry, all I had to do was essentially just answer a DM. Damn. Yeah, pretty much. And here's the other thing. I don't know if you noticed this. I've always said a privilege is invisible to those that have it. You didn't even notice it. Your man had to call it out for you. And well, no, it wasn't even that. It was it just came up in conversation. Yeah, but he acknowledged he acknowledged it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Women don't even understand the privileges they have because privilege is invisible to those that have it. But he was able to immediately acknowledge, wow, that's a crazy opportunity. Why? Because men don't get nearly the same amount of opportunities and privileges. Which once again goes back to why the wage gap doesn't exist. Women have more opportunities now because they're able to benefit from the equality, right? While simultaneously being treated like a lady, <clears throat> right? Which is a benefit that only women get. So y'all can eat at both ends of the spectrum. Yeah, for a woman, opportunity has no face, but it does have a dick. Okay, moving on. What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get so it? Let, can I? Ask, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. So considering your mindset, you know right? I am yeah, hungry. I, I am really well, hungry. I thought you were hungry. Like, like, you, you, you can talk like, like, No, but I, I really go, have go, a question go, go. for him. Yeah. So considering your mindset and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Would Do you genuinely believe that you'll be able to go out there and find you a wife that mm. perfectly fits for you? Wow, mm. that was deep. A wife that, was, that works for me. Like, don't answer that logistically. Can you, you do that with it? Like feeling? Like for real? Like not statistically speaking. I'm like, just, I guess, so, what are y'all trying to you? What are we trying to ask? No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm just ask asking him a question. Cause considering like his mindset, <laughs> considering his mindset, we yeah. all know his mindset. Yes, yeah. please answer. What is my mindset? My queen. Like, don't, don't 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 let him throw you off. <laughs> no, no, no. What is my mindset? That's like so, you're against it. Anyway, no, no, no. What is my mindset? Considering your mindset. question, don't forget the question. Do you genuinely believe? That you can find you a girl that best fits you. Well, here's as the thing. a wife. Uh, yeah, as a wife. Big it's multiple, keyword, multiple. baby. No logistics. It's multiple. Well, here's yeah. the thing, ladies. You I married? Don't, I don't need to find her because I found myself. <laughs> and since I found myself, my leadership will dictate how she's going to behave oh. because I'm going to train her to be the best girlfriend she can be. Train. 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 Listen, that's all. <laughs> you see yourself getting married. Listen. You see yourself oh getting married. God. He said he needs to hold train. Hold on, hold on. Stop the show. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut. Wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out. If you time take out, a professional out. athlete, what are they doing in the offseason? Training. Okay. When you go to the gym, what are you doing? Working out. Okay. Training. Yeah. Okay. If you want to be the best at something, what do you have to do? You condition Train. yourself. To ah. So... Wouldn't it be fair to say that if I want my girlfriend to be the best girlfriend that she can be, I have to train her? Okay, up but it's it's so much hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. answer the question. Wait, wait. Wouldn't it be fair of... to say you asked me, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so wouldn't it be fair to say, say that if I want her to be the girlfriend slash wife I want her to be, I have to train her? Is she okay, a dog? But Is she a dog? Okay, please wait. answer the question. Yes or no? Okay. Yes or no? Wait, wait, let wait, wait. Instead of saying train her. Can you can you use like a different <laughs> logic instead of saying train? Because that's showing why that book. Because you can teach, you can teach her, yeah. But why are you training her? She's not a dog. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. You the can difference teach between her. what he just said, like all those examples, versus training a girl, is that an athlete conditioning at the gym, whatever. Those are all personal choices. We train because we want to. You're talking about training somebody else who's already conditioned why to their own are, ways. Yeah. Why are you? Training because, somebody else? Because, hold on. Let me, let me ask you a question. If you want to work, let me ask you since you want the one to ask this. Let's say you want to work at a prestigious job. Let's say a prestigious law firm. Wouldn't it be fair to say that you have to... I have to learn. You have to learn. And don't you have to come to the job, dress a certain way with a resume and a certain type of experience? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and wouldn't it be fair to say that this prestigious law firm also has a lot of applicants? Ooh. Oh, you're shivering. Ooh. Okay. Sure yeah, she's cold. Can we get can, can we give her the blanket real quick? Oh. She gave um, it. You want your own? Yeah, you yeah she's shivering. Yeah. So anyway. I mean, we're gonna have to shit. All right. You know what? It's fucking. It's really cold in here, guys. We we keep it cold. Um. So wouldn't it be fair to say that if you want to work at this prestigious law firm, there's a lot of other applicants? So you have to prepare yourself and train for the position. Yes. Okay. So what's the difference between a girlfriend and? A law, prestigious law firm. I never said it was a. Di I'm just saying, like your your choice of words. Like I don't care you what you think about the words. You it? must train the girl to be the best girlfriend for it. You guys yeah. don't like the words, but the reality is, I'm training her. I'm teaching her. Hey, 
This is what's acceptable. This is what not what's not acceptable. And if you want to be with you me, this is what it is. The problem is this. You say, you no, say no, no, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Which is why you deal with more impressionable younger women. Thank you for Ooh. making that argument wait, for me. Wait, what she said? So, oh, you can't teach what I'm saying, dog new tricks. Okay. Which is why you deal with younger women because they're more impressionable and more open to the coaching and the training. You Here's the reality, tell ladies. Him to change his words. You guys, that's who he is. You, the, listen, ladies. Men are leaders. Women are followers. That's the way the world has always worked. All of you guys said earlier, not all, but most of you, or most women in general, want a guy that's taller, stronger, more dominant, more confident, more ambitious, etc. So goodness. you guys want a leader, but you don't want him to lead you. Tell me that how that makes sense. I think I want to. You want to. You want to be with a guy that's successful that has his shit together, but you don't want to comply with the regulations and standards. You want to become vice president of this company. Us. You want to be vice president of this company, company. but you don't want to go ahead and do the work to move up the ranks. Bars. <laughs> See, here's the thing. No, 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 no. Real talk, because yeah. this is this is the cold hard truth about modern day women. Y'all will dress up in a suit, bring a resume, go to school for six to eight years to pursue a career that doesn't give a fuck about you. Jump through hoops and hurdles to get this job. Mm -hmm. Okay, behave, go through training, Facts. become the best woman you can for this job. But then your man comes in and says, "Yo." I need you to do this. I need you to do that. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck I'm showing the independent. It ain't like that. Yes, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. I'm finishing my point. What I'm trying to say is that women will gladly submit to their boss and their job, but they will not submit to their man. And that is why so many modern day women can't keep a man. That's the reality. I'm telling you guys how successful men think. I'm multimillionaire. I'm not tolerating no bullshit from a woman. And for us. Period. I busted my ass to get to this point. This is how it is. And all guys that are successful think this way. Whether they make $100,000, $200,000, a million dollars a year. We okay. all think this way. It's my way or the highway because that same mindset that made me become successful is the same mindset I'm going to take into the relationship. It's my way or the highway because there's other girls that want to work at this corporation, this law firm, whatever it is, because this is a prestigious business. And, Facts. Really and you need good. to go be willing to train and go through the trials and tribulations to become the vice president, a.k.a. my girl. That's how it goes. You don't just get a handout here. So women will go ahead. Down the it's incredible to me how modern day women <laughs> will sacrifice their years of their life, their prime years, years, for a job that doesn't give a shit about them, but they won't submit to a man. Facts. And you want a family? You want a family? What a joke. <laughs> crazy Who said you're looking that? at me like i'm crazy you disagree with something it was just the word training like you right but like it was just that dominancy of not really having true respect for women and what we have to bring to the table is like train like we ain't nothing like we only there at y'all feet for when y'all call and that's what i said earlier like we more than just that yeah and, if, and, if, yeah, and if i get into a relationship with that word training i want to really i want to touch base on that word training if I get in a relationship and I connect with somebody, we connecting off of who we are. If I don't fuck with you, I'm not going to try to train you into being something you're not. It's like, oh, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. Which is why but, you get younger women. But when it, but then you still lost because you still going to end up chasing younger women. You're going to keep the same route. You ain't really happy. So keep it up. Oh, no, we, we definitely don't happy. chase. Yeah, yeah. we that's don't chase you, young girls, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what see, they all, that's what they the all thing. say. But you're, I know you're, the truth. You're, you're not a man, so I, I don't know yeah. I see through where you're coming I see from. Do you yeah. think if he now. used a different word besides train that this conversation just would have gone yes. a completely different direction? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I just want him to see. Ultimately, he was really just trying to say that. What should we say? Yo, see, here's the difference between men and women. You guys are it's more concerned the, with a word and how it's delivered versus the message that was delivered. It's almost like you have to read but you between off, but the you lines. You were saying that about me earlier, though. Really oh, my disrespect, You supposedly. go off a of violin language, right? We're going off of your demeanor and how you're, like, portraying It's not a what word. you say. It's how, how you, you say, say it. it. And, and well, that's exactly what happened to me earlier, No, though. you're just it's disruptive you and, and constantly interrupt. That's why you were being rude. Okay, and then saying brother mm -hmm. and all these other condescending terms. There's well, a difference. When y'all mention it, when y'all showing that a woman's worth is nothing but at your No one said that. And bedside, it you came I'm to that conclusion. Say, that's what you were saying, though. Basically, did I say any of those words you just mentioned? At Girl, your feet, begging at your side. None, none of that. I said it's training. like you don't even really care for females for real. It's more what? so like you just like nonchalant. Like what led you to say that specifically? Because you don't give us the debit, fuck credit. You don't give us the debit we deserve. Like it's what? just all females don't deserve this. Females not this. Females this that. Females that. Damn. What specifically you made like you females? come to that conclusion? <laughs> If we didn't, I'm gonna just shut up. I'm sorry. See, you can't. Think here's the thing. Cough no, and no, 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 no. I'm asking I you. I can't even say Sp what I want. If, Here, here's the thing. I'm saying if you're gonna make an argument and say that, oh, y'all saying this and that, blah, blah, blah. What's wrong with the term go training? Ahead. Go ahead. Tell I me. I said it earlier already. 
What was wrong with the word? You said that we're saying that we're women need to be on their feet, whatever. Not one of those words. I can't were re-explain because then it's re-contradicted, and I'm not what? about to do that. What is re-contradict? What you're gonna? You're, I meant you're gonna try to contradict what I'm saying, and I'm not about to just. You make the words on the fly. Yeah, my, because you alligator. <laughs> you yeah, a, like see, words. the difference is this: you're extrapolating something from what I said that doesn't exist. I simply said that men need to train women. But when I gave you guys the example of going to the gym to train, when I talked about training for a job, when I talked about training for being an athlete, none of y'all had anything negative to say about yeah. that. But because when I say, I need to train my girl, y'all are like, whoa, that's different. not cool. Okay, but look at it. Okay, that's okay, for growth. Look no, at it. Well, it's unity. Yeah. Okay, what but is an independent decision? Like, you make a decision to be an athlete. You make a decision to go to the gym and you do that for yourself. And you Somebody have a coach. No, no, no. Someone else? You have a coach. You don't no. do that by yourself. Wait, you have no? a coach. Wait, wait, wait. wait, hold on, hold on. I work out who's, myself. Whose job, let me ask you this. Who controls who gets relationships? Excuse me? Who controls who gets relationships? What so like who secured a bag? No. Who gets relationships? Who, who controls who gets relationships? Both parties. Really? Yes. Are you getting down on any of proposing to a man? <laughs> No. Okay. okay. So who does that? The man, but I can oh, very well hold say on. Stop, no. Stop. So by default, men controls who gets relationships, correct? No, because at the end of the day, his his word isn't end all be all. He might want to. He make might he might make that decision to propose. Absolutely, but that doesn't mean I'm going to say yes. So he can just leave. because he wants to. Listen, if you're with a man that you love and admire and respect, and he gets down on one knee, he's choosing you, and you're going to say yes. Hence, you're in a relationship with him in the first place. Because I'm also actively choosing him every day. Okay. And but not dipping. He's the one that gives you the title of wife, right? Mm. The answer is yes. He's the one that is getting down on a knee and proposing to you, making you his wife. So wouldn't it be fair to say that if you want to be a wife, you have to do wife duties for the job? You might have to do wife duties, but what I'm not understanding is why you have to train someone. Why do you why can't you just meet someone like where they're at, if that makes sense? And that like hear hear me out. Not like meet them where they're at in the sense of like if they meet your expectations, you won't have to train them, and they can just hop on board. Why do you have to train somebody? Like why don't you just drop them? When you meet somebody for the first time, do you know everything about them? No. No, you learn about them. Exactly. So how do you learn from from that person? Experience, right? Getting to know them better. Yeah. Going through trials and tribulations, and, and what training yourself to learn who they really are. Same thing with him. He's just training you to understand. And if I'm going to keep it a thousand, modern day women have a bunch of bad habits that need to be trained out of them. Yep. Wanting to go to go to the club, wanting to shake their ass, wanting I to have agree. guy friends, wanting to do a bunch of hoe shit. Like you got to train a lot of bad habits out of chicks to make them guy the best friends. girlfriend they can be. So you don't to agree you. with a girl having guy friends in the relationship? Absolutely no. not. No, it's unacceptable. I agree too. I yeah, that guess. sucks for you then. I'm not. I, I agree with that too. And yeah, uh, I mean, ladies, it, it doesn't. It like I said, it's those guys want to have sex with you. I'm not dumb. I understand how men think. So again. The thing is, you guys want a winner, but you guys are not prepared to do the work to get a winner. Yeah. Which is fine. Y'all don't want to get trained. Get a regular guy. Five foot eight, 36K to 50K per year. But y'all all want what? Nothing. I was thinking a song. Go ahead. <laughs> and then, okay. why, are you, why are you still here, man? Yeah. Just go, man. I'm listening to what he's saying. Yeah, but you're rude. Thinking for a song. Wait, you're you hungry. Mean? I'm not singing in the mic, though. Like... How is that being rude if I'm listening to what he's saying, but I'm just like you hungry? Go home, man. It makes you just look weird. That's what it is. Yeah, you look That's weird. Because you do. If you watch the show back, you're going to look at yourself and be like, what the fuck? Okay. It just makes you look weird. She was looking in the camera. Does her looking weird, like, affect you in any kind of way? Or... As a woman? Just I mean, this is going to make her look foolish and immature. Okay, then that? let her do that. And if, like, that's the image that she wants to present, all right. But, like... What are you? Are you training I her how to be you now? She was a pain in the ass. I mean, it's, I mean, <laughs> no, this like is. I told you she was a pain in the it ass. It takes one to know hey, one. So. Hey, okay. hey, listen, I know one, and I see one <laughs> with red hair. You're a pain in the fucking ass. That's why Yo. you're single. On I'm not denying saying. it. I'm not that's denying not it. Married. And that's a whole lot of words just to say that you don't get play. Look, so. I've seen your Instagram. I'm sure you get played every fucking day, two times a day. All right. <laughs> yeah, with a bus skin shirt. I'm surprised. Shut up with a blazer. All right. So anyway, shit, man. Um. You guys are more interested. You guys have an issue with the term train. That's fine. You guys will go ahead and work a career and get trained for them, but you won't get trained by your man, which is why so many girls stay single. That's the truth. Forever. You're not going to have a winner and not go through the trials and tribulations of training. That's just how it goes. He's going to train you to be a better girlfriend. And if you don't want to submit to that, cool. Stay single. To his ability, right? To how the way he wants her to like accommodate with him, right? Yes. Okay. So Every man is different and has different needs and requirements. So he's got to train his girl to be the best girl. Mm-hmm. 
to and not for argue. him though. But that's the for thing. Why him. do you have to train them? Why can't you just find someone that's already like that? And because why go through all that work yourself? Why train somebody? Okay. Like, you want to know why? Because most women don't have fathers nowadays that are supposed to train them these things from the beginning. Oh, so you're her father. You're no, her father what I'm saying her. is that we live in a fatherless society mm -hmm. where women a lot of the times don't have a natural respect for masculinity. Or they might have not had a father figure, a, a strong brother, strong uncle, whatever. And most women in general don't respect most men. That's how it is. So a lot of times you got to train bad habits out of girls because it used to be in the olden days, you got a girl. She came from a strong family. She understood what it was to be a woman, right? She had a strong father. She had a mom. She came from a strong family. She understood what being a feminine woman was. And you can marry her. But nowadays, a lot of girls are not marriageable so material. So you're saying it determines if that if that shorty have a dad in her life? No, I'm just saying it's an no. element. Element, yeah. Okay. You're training to be his wife. That's because his wife. typically, if you come from a good family with a strong father, he will instill certain values in you that will make you a good wife. So then Let's you wouldn't have system. to train yes. her to up our daddies. Like indoctrination. I love and kill him. So you wouldn't have to train her then because she could Well, it's not the system. It's poor home. decisions from the daddies. It's, I just feel like we system. keep fixating on this word training, training, training. When Who's whole referring time, back to training? When are we going to ask some questions? I got to ask. Oh, right, you know what? Yeah, uh, here, some chats. 